Welcome your saltwater guide, Captain Dave Hanson, with another phenomenal podcast for you today. We are super fired up. We got Justin and Pablo in the wings. We have big announcement today. Promar came out with their new product. We're super fired up about it, gang. You're not going to believe it when we show it to you. So make sure you're ready to see that. Stay with us. This is a phenomenal product. You're going to, every single one of you are going to get this product right after we show it to you. And what I want to warn you all is when you do see this product, you got to understand, you got to act quick because they're going to sell out fast. The price is perfect for fishermen. The price is made just for us. So you're not going to even believe this thing when we show it to you. So stand by. It's going to be a phenomenal show today. Today is Promar Ahi USA Tuesday. We always talk about Promar products on Tuesdays, and today is no different. We are going to show you some spectacular products today. We're going to show you the QR code, and those of you that are listening as you're driving around, you don't see the QR code. You're going to put in my personal code, YSWG, and the number 22, and that's going to get you your 10% off on this product, and you're going to be blown away. We're talking rockfish today. We're talking yellowtail today we're talking sea bass today we're talking squid today we're talking about this this uh, fishery in southern california which is going to start to jump big time because why we have no weather on the forecast you don't see any of that south wind that cold miserable southeast wind that's been blowing every weekend for the last month and a half we see none of that on the horizon all we see is good looking water for the next next uh, eight, nine days that I can see here on Windy right now, we got nine days of just really good weather. It's looking very, very nice. I think we're going to put together some phenomenal fish counts. You start watching the community and watching what's happening. I think you guys are going to be pleasantly surprised. I don't think the fish have gone anywhere. I think they've been here the whole time. They just had their noses down. Because of this south wind, the southeast wind, it just, it wasn't good for everything. And everyone started to pout and suck their thumb and think all the fishing's over. Gang, it's April. I've been doing this for a living for 49, almost 50 years. And I'll tell you what, up until 2015, fishing in Southern California, the pelagic, the offshore thing, didn't even really start until the end of June. July was when they would light the fireworks and we'd all go tuna fishing. That's the way it had been since the beginning of time. We all got spoiled. And now if we're not catching 300 pound bluefin in April, we're all pouty and sucking our thumbs, gang. There's no reason for that. Yeah, something new from Promar. It's incredible. You guys are going to love this product. You're all going to get one immediately. So stay with us for a few more minutes. And we'll show you the product and then stay with us the whole time. And we'll tell all about fishing in Southern California today. And we got Pablo and Justin with us. And we're bringing in a special guest also. So you don't want to miss any of today's show. Today's show is going to be absolutely incredible. We just got to get rid of some, some troll on there that's trying to... Don't, <laughs> silly people. But we're good. I'm producing the show today. It's going to be great. So listen, gang, let's bring in Justin and Pablo right now. Pablo, welcome to the show. I'm glad you can make it on time today. And uh, Justin, hi, buddy. How are you? Hey, how are you guys doing? Look at Oh, look, look at, at Pablo's Pablo shirt. Representing, man. And Dave. Remember, gang, we got a show going in in Ventura. There's a the last show of the year going in in Ventura, and it's uh, right here. This is the show. If you show up where... At the West Coast Outdoor Sport Fishing Expo at the Ventura Fairgrounds on the 3rd, 4th, and 5th of May. If you show up wearing one of our shirts, you get in for free. That's pretty cool. Our guest that's going to be on the show today probably will be showing up because he's running around in that area up there. So he may show up to the show. I know Mike Lewis will be there. Superstar Racing. We're hoping Sonny. He's superstar now. Sonny barely has time to even talk to me, but <laughs> there's going to be a representation of your saltwater guide at the West Coast Outdoors and Sport Fishing Exo at the Ventura Fairgrounds. And we're hoping that 
a lot of you show up and support the show because it is industry. Ma and Pa, all the all the people that are hoping that you're going to come and say hi to them, they're all going to be there. So let's make a big appearance there and let's show up with our your saltwater guide shirts on. And if you're going to get one, you better order it now because if you want it for the show, you better order it sooner than later because you know how shipping is in America nowadays. But um, hey, we got we got something super exciting. I'm going to let Justin introduce it because he's been on the cutting edge of helping Promar put this thing together. So I'm going to let you tell them what it is. And then we're going to show you a cool little video about it, gang. And then get ready because I guarantee you by the end of this show, they will be sold out of this product. Justin, talk about it for a minute. All right. So everyone, there's a couple things that we're going to tell everyone and introduce today. You are the very first people to even see this or hear about it. Um, the first thing is going to be a descending device. The descending a device. Picture of it. Super, super, super easy to use. If you're looking at the picture right there, on one side, you're going to tie your line to it, the main line that goes to your rod. The other side with that um, detachable swivel, that one you're going to attach to the squid squirts. So you're going to be using this constantly on your rod. You don't have to have one rod dedicated to a descending device. So it makes it super, super easy to use. Instead of having to drop it down and then reel that line back up and you're not fishing, now you're going to be able to drop the fish down and continue fishing. So it's, it's yeah, a, an amazing thing. Being with Promar, um, you know, Promar is trying to make things so easy for everybody um, to use things that you're on the go when we're fishing and the fishing's hot you're going to be wanting to catch fish constantly instead of when you're using the descending device instead of dropping it down and then having the reel you line back up take your other rod drop it back down with bait so this right here will make it super easy but there's even better news <clears throat> they're only 13 dollars and 99 cents and you get two so 13 dollars <laughs> and 99 cents you're going to get two but what what is that commercial? Is there the info show? But wait, there's, there's more. <laughs> yeah, but wait, there's more. Not only is it $13.99 and you get two, but if you use code YSWG22, you're gonna get an additional discount on it. So there's a, there's not a lot available right now. So go on the website or Dave will put on the QR code. Go on there. The QR code is, I believe, is gonna automatically get you entered for the um the discount put that in your shopping cart buy it right away it is the law you have to have it on your boat now ready to use instead of having it on a different rod ready to use you're going to have it on your rod that you're already fishing with ready to use so it's even better yeah it's here, an amazing me... item here's a video he's going to show you right now hold on gang promar's new descending device you have to have one on your boat it's the law there's none of them i've ever seen that work as clean and smooth as this one and basically you could put your uh squid squirt on this and start fishing right when that fish makes it down to the bottom but it's a quick easy release very simple to use this is going to sell out get over to the promar website use the code yswg the number 22 or use the qr code and get one and you just saw that fish get released off of there, gang. It's a pretty amazing product. Absolutely amazing. I am super stoked on the price because the Fish and Wildlife came up with the plan that everybody has to have one on their boat. It's the law. And I don't know if you've seen all these different uh, devices to drop a fish down to the bottom, but most of them are so... Um, extravagant for lack of a better word that i can't even figure out how to use them but this one that i that justin just showed us that came from promar even i can figure out how to use it gang you want to get one i'm telling you what and justin told you and don't 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 listen to us wait order it tomorrow that way you won't have to worry about getting one because if you watched what happened with that squid net they sold out on that squid net over and over again. This thing, you get two of them for 13 bucks. 
or $13.95, and then you get your 10% discount. Gang, this is a no-brainer. The law says you have to have one. If you don't ever use it, that's fine, but you got one on your boat. Just in case one day you're one of your friends or family catches a redfish down on the bottom and you can't take it home because you don't have a descending device on your boat, you got to have one by law. So grab those things as fast as you can. They're going to sell out of them today. We already know that. It's going to be crazy. Pablo and Justin already got two of the 12 that they have. So I'm just telling you, gang, if you if you hesitate, tomorrow on the show, you're going to be going, Dave, I should have got that thing yesterday. I'm I'm just trying to help you. 13 bucks, really? And you have to call your wife and ask if it's okay to spend 13 bucks? Well, then fishing's not your problem. I'm just trying to help. Yeah, that is so true. So I don't have a squid squirt or that here that's on my boat. It's all on my boat right now. But here's how easy it is, okay? So you have the line, right? You have a line. And then you have the descending device. You can either put it at the bottom of your whatever you're going to use. We use squid squirt. So whatever you're going to use, you can put it at the bottom or you could put it at the top. Either way, it's going to work no matter which side you put it on, the top of your line or the bottom of your line. It's going to work. And, you're, and the way that you use this as well is you use it upside down. So you see the hook on there, how it's facing down towards the right. That's which way it's going to go down into the water because you're going to want that pressure to push the fish up so it doesn't come off until you stop. And then once you just give it a little tug, little tiny tug, the fish is going to slip right off of there, swim away, and there it goes. But you don't have to reel it back up. You don't have to reel your line back up. Leave your line down there. Catch another fish. What if you're in the area with the big giant reds or any of the other big giant rockfish you want to get? Leave it down there. Catch the other fish while it's down there. You don't have to bring it back up. But it works amazing. You can either put it on the top or the bottom. That is incredible. That I'm so excited. And you didn't even tell me what you guys were working on, so I didn't even know until today. Now this is yeah. the first time I've ever seen it. Pretty badass, right, Pablo? Oh, yeah, man. I, I'm trying to text Steve right now to get a couple put aside because I know everybody's going to buy these things up by the end of the show. Grab that QR code, gang, that's right there. And those of you that are listening, if you haven't seen it, you got to go watch this on YouTube later after you get home. But put in the code YSWG and the number 22 and order these things right now, gang, because they're going to be gone tomorrow. 13 dollars for two are you kidding yes, me 13.99 for two and then use the code yswg22 <laughs> scan the qr code and you're gonna save again so it's a win-win situation and it's gonna save you a 389 dollar ticket yep and a day off of work and the assessment and by the time you're done with the fish and wildlife ticket you're up into the thousands of dollars and even if the ticket says 300 bucks that's just the beginning, gang. You haven't yeah. even gone to court yet. You have to go. You don't yeah. get to mail it in. You get to go and sit in front of the judge. It's not worth it. It's just not worth it. Have a couple of these on your boat, gang. It's pretty spectacular. Grab the QR code because we're going to pull that down in a few minutes. We'll throw it back up a little later in the show. But, hey, before we go any further, Pablo, Justin, stand by for a minute. I want to bring someone in who's been a diehard member of the uh, website for a very long time. Jack, welcome to the show. Thanks for joining us today, buddy. Of course. Thank you. What do you, what do you think of that descending device? Pretty cool, huh? It's, it's amazing. Honestly, it's great because I, I think about the one that I have and I think the one that everyone has, right? And, you know, if you put it on a separate rod, like this one just integrates within your whole setup. So it's, it's, it's very seamless. So you can be fishing more, I think. And that's really what we're all after. So. And the price is great too. That's a, that's a, I think I paid like 10 bucks for one that I don't even use. So, <laughs> um, and I think everyone is in that same boat. So. Yeah, that's pretty simple to use. So Jack, let everybody know you and I, we became friends because of yeah. this silly, silly website of mine, but try to keep, so I, how did you find me? How did you find the website? How has this gone on since you became part of the website? What's been happening? Yeah. I mean, I think I found, I think I've been a member for about maybe three or four years now. Um, I mean, I, um, I wanted to get into fishing in Southern California. I live in Los Angeles. Um, uh, and 
there's not many people who really fish in the LA area, or at least that I come to find out that a lot of people do fish and there's a whole community, right? But there's not a lot of information um, that is accessible, right? Um, as accessible as your website, right? So I think I came across your Instagram. Um, I think you were just building things up and um, I was like, look at this great info. I was like, this can't be, it almost seemed too good to be true in a way, right? Um, and then I started watching and I was like, okay, so um, I went out there without any information and I'm doing exactly the opposite that you're telling me, right? And I'm not catching anything, right? So I'm like, okay, well, if I'm going to catch something, I'm, I'm going to have to get legit information, right? And I think, uh, you know, I've always been someone who's like, I want to go out and get success and find success quicker, right? I don't want to like have this big ego and go out there and just try to, like you say, figure it out on your own, burn a bunch of fuel, right? Come back with nothing, right? And that's kind of how I started, right? I think that's probably how everyone started fishing. They came back with nothing. They burned a hell of a lot of fuel, right? Um, and they didn't have the proper information, right? So I think when I came to your website, right, it's like everything's there, right? And um, as I, I've been a member for three years now, and I think like, you know, the website's also built, built it, like there's new things that you're kind of iterating on, right? So like the website now has like, you know, there's an app so you can look it on your phone, right? And, and there's also a community page where you can actually interact with other members. Like just the other day, I was talking with a member about, you know, where I was halibut fishing and I was sharing information with him, right? So like he was benefiting and, and the same thing goes for um, members sharing info with me, right? And I think, yeah, here's this halibut. We, caught this the other day. Um, and yeah, I was, you know, I, for a while I was struggling to catch halibut. I was thought I was the worst halibut fisherman in the world. Um, and I'm sure there's a lot of people who feel that way, but, um, after, you know, learning from Dave and the website and talking with, you know, Justin, Pablo, other members, you know, they were obviously able to help me out as well. And, um, just the community it's like, has a huge impact. And I think this was like a 42 inch halibut and, um, you know, can't really ask for anything more than that. So <laughs> that is a, that's <laughs> yeah. a wall hanger. That's a crowd pleaser. That, that is yeah. spectacular. How about this? Any luck with yeah, these? So this, Learn yeah, this was actually, um, this was like two years ago at, at Catalina. Um, you know, we, there was a spot that Dave talked about. Um, you should go hit this spot. We, hit it and we got a bunch of lobster and I think we ate all, I think we ate seven or eight lobster that one night. Um, and that's all we ate for the whole weekend. So, um, we survived, we survived, um, from the website pretty much, um, out there. So, <laughs> and what happened here? Holy moly. Yeah. yeah. That was, um, you know, as there's no secret, there's a lot of bluefin off the coast of Southern California come summertime and everyone's out there, but, not everyone knows where to go. So I think this was, um, in the summer we caught like, I think it was like 150 pound bluefin. Uh, this is my first bluefin tuna. That was one of the goals that I had, um, to catch a tuna, which, you know, is, is not an easy fish to catch and certainly land. And here's another photo. Of, um, yeah, it was like an, a great, an amazing experience. I think this day, I think Justin was out there as well fishing. So I was, I remember I was talking with Justin and um, before and he was telling me where he was going and I was like this is where I'm going and you know you kind of had that line of communication where you can kind of all talk amongst each other which was you know invaluable um, to kind of landing you know fish especially if, of this of this size and type so no that's incredible I'm just looking there was someone yeah we know you're not a troll Daniel don't worry I got this under control I'm running this <laughs> what happened here um, I don't see any yeah, other boats around. Yeah, no, it, there's there exactly no boats. It was um, it's, I mean, the ocean's big, right? And like, there's a lot of space, right? There's certainly a lot of fish, right? And I think that like, you know, there's this, I guess, under there's this idea when you go fishing you look for all the boats right um and like you know maybe if you're fishing on a lake and there's one spot and that's all you can fish but 
you know, still there's, there's always, there's always spots you can find. And then when it comes to bluefin fishing, one of the things that we realized is like, you know, fishing with a lot of boats, like, you know, majority of the people have no idea what the hell they're doing. They're usually driving over the schools. Right. And so like, even if you were to see a bunch of fish fishing with boats, I usually just go the other direction, knowing that like those boats are going to inhibit me from landing those fish. Right. And, and I think that that's something that I definitely took away from the website is just like knowing that like trusting the knowledge that you have, the knowledge that you learn, and then using that knowledge and kind of applying that, right. And thinking critically when you're out on the water. And I think like, you know, that day wouldn't have happened. I think if I fished with a bunch of other boats, you know, like we, we were hanging two fish at once and no one was around us. So, I mean, and I've, I've been through those days. Like, I think I, before this, I fell into the trap of like fishing for boats one day. I caught nothing, right? Because everyone was driving over the foamers and it just, it just didn't want work at all. So, um, yeah, big ocean, you know, a lot of, a lot of fish out there. So. And so you became a member of the website, Jack, didn't, right away what does it say call dave on the website yeah no you- yeah i mean you're very accessible it's like um and i think the more that you put into the website the more you get out of it right so like the more you interact with dave the more that and, and the more that he almost becomes your friend like you kind of said and the more it's like you'll pick up my calls and you pick up everyone's calls right but i think that there's like an added bonus when you like interact more on the community page and like you get to know someone um, and you interact with them and you kind of develop kind of friendships. And um, obviously like the shirts, you know, like people wearing the hats, people flying the flag. It's like, it's, you know, it's kind of a, you know, you say the gang, but it's like a gang in a way. So, yeah. What, I got this picture finally loaded. What happened here? What was this? What happened? Well, (laughs) yeah, and I was telling, this is, uh, this is like the, the face of, like, holy shit, like this is going to be a long battle. Um, and I guess when I joined the website, I didn't think that I would, I mean, the only downside of the website is you're going to be catching a lot of fish and you're going to be like, after that fight, you're just going to be like, wow, look at Dave just did to me, uh, putting me <laughs> on these fish. So yeah, this, I was, I was happy, but also like when you get into a fight with a bluefin, especially as you know, with a spinning rod, um, it's, it's it's a long battle, but like that's what we're that's what we're out there for. So, um, and that's look at what the that. So. Look at that face, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> like, what was I thinking? <laughs> yeah, I think my friend said the the face when you like hook a truck or something, um, and that's like the expression you have. So, well, I'm gonna bring in Pablo and Justin because I know they've helped you out tremendously. So let's yeah. bring. Boys back in here, Justin, Pablo, Jack. What's it like when you call one of these guys? Because there's a lot of people, Jack. I'm just trying to throw this out. There's a lot of people that are watching that are sitting on the edge. They're just like you. They got their boat. They just cannot comprehend that there's actually a group of people that are actually willing to tell you every single thing. So when you call Justin, does he say, hey, wait a minute, I can't tell you everything? (laughs) <laughs> no, I mean, it's, it's like an open book. Right. And I think like, um, like, you know, like they say fishing, it takes years to figure it out. And like, I think back to what I was saying, like everyone in here is still learning. We're kind of learning together, but like the knowledge that, you know, Justin and Pablo and Dave, you guys have, like, it's like, you know, it, it puts like the accelerator on fishing knowledge. Right. And it's like, when I kind of got into this thing, not knowing pretty much nothing about fishing out here. It's like, the more I learned, the more I knew I didn't know. Right. And it's like, it's kind of this mountain of information. And I think like having Justin and Pablo being accessible, it's like, you know, I don't know you guys, how long you've been fishing for like 20, 30 years. Right. I'm probably since way longer than any of people, most people out here. So it's like having that knowledge, it's like, you know, they've seen, way more than we've ever seen so like having all that perspective is just super valuable so and the really good thing about it is we do these live shows and i know you're watching all the time jack because you got a little bit to do with production of stuff and you watch the live shows just like i do and 
and all our other fans out there are watching these live shows. No one's ever done this before. So when you're watching Justin fishing live out on the water, there's no editing. There's nothing you get to see. Mm-hmm. And it's all truth. We give you exactly truth. If Justin's having a crappy day, and unfortunately he had two this year yeah. lobster fishing, two out of 64, yeah. right, Justin? I know, darn, right, darn. But you guys got to watch it. You're like, wait a minute, he pulled all those hoops all night and he only caught five lobsters the night before he caught 85 lobsters. But that's what's going on. We're not going to tell Jack. Jack, look at go out there and do this because we want Jack to fail, right, Justin? Yeah, we don't we don't want anybody to fail. No saltwater guy. No, we don't want anyone to fail. Period. No one to fail. Everyone. We want everyone to fish. And Jack couldn't have summed it up any better about talking about don't fish for boats, especially going for tuna. You do not want to fish for boats. Um, going for those bluefin because bluefin don't like boats. They don't like boats. And where, what you learn at your saltwater guide is to veer away from the boats. Go as far away as you can away from them, and you're going to find more fish. Mm-hmm. It's just what happens. Yeah, no, exactly. And I just thinking about it, like, it's like without having the knowledge of your saltwater guide, for example, it's like I didn't know what to look for for foamers, right? I didn't know the critical information to look for that, you know, if I didn't have any info, it's like, and knowledge, it's like, you're gonna look for boats because that's all the knowledge you have. You're using someone else's knowledge. But like with the website, you get your own critical knowledge. You can critically think when react when you're out there, right? So it's like foamers, birds, right? Like bait, right? All things that like, you know, if you're looking for boats, you don't know how to look for that stuff, right? And that's what the website does, so. And and another thing also, um, Jack, is how easy is it so if you're not out on the water every day, I'm not out on every day either, but I'm out a lot, yeah. a lot. So if you're not out all the time, Jack, and you're like, hey, I want some intel, how easy is it to ask us for intel? <laughs> Very easy. It's, yeah. you know, the network is everything. And even if you guys aren't out, another member will probably be out there who may be of some help as well. So it's, it's and they also help you guys. So it's like, you know, it's a community, right? And that community atmosphere is just very beneficial. Everyone reaps the benefits. So, and and what we see a lot of lately, a lot lately, um, it's just getting better and better and better as every day goes on. Is people ask for more intel on the community page on yeah. your social guide? They ask for info. If they don't see the info available right now, they ask other members what's going on. Like mm-hmm. I'm not out today. I couldn't tell you tomorrow what's going on today. So I, yeah. I don't know. I'm not out there, but I will ask other people what's going on. Exactly. And that's kind of the thing that I did when I put this whole thing together. People, I know I was out there and I'm thinking, what is going on over there in the wheelhouse on the Royal Polaris? What's Roy Rose thinking about? What's going on over there on Bowline Sport Fishing? What's Justin Botrell thinking about? Oh, wait a minute. There's Pablo. I wonder what's going on in his wheelhouse. Well, now... All that work, all that stuff's gone. You get to talk to us. You've called Justin from out on the water when you're tuna fishing. You guys put together a game plan. You guys go out yeah. there and you have executed. So many of our members, Tim Ogilvy and Pablo, they fish together. Darren and Pablo, those guys, they tag team that stuff. Dan and Kim, they're just super private. They don't share where they're catching on. No, I'm just kidding. They share <laughs> what they're doing. We all are sharing, gang. That's the thing. That's the craziest thing that you've ever seen. That's why I like to bring in members because you can hear Justin and Pablo and I talk about it. But let me tell you something. When Pablo or Justin or myself see Jack with his big giant smile and his big halibut or his big reds or his big bluefin and we see that smile and we see that post, it makes us feel good in our heart. It really, really does, Jack. I know Justin loves to see people succeed and talk yeah. about they got the knowledge to where to go from Justin. Pablo, I know you still pinch yourself every day for what you did with John and uh, Tina. <laughs> oh, they wanted a Dorado, they got a hundred of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and you know, it's like even recently, like at the PCS show, what, who was it, Brian? Wasn't it Brian from Promar or who was it? Justin. Justin was giving everybody these tips on like, hey, if I were you, I would go here. 
and they would show up at the show and be like, dude, I went there and look what I got. And it's like a freaking 40 pound halibut. It's, <laughs> it's, it's no joke. We're not, we're not just sending you to places that don't work. We're going, we're giving you the numbers and the locations and the techniques that we're going to use ourselves to be successful. And that's, that's what you get here. And the community, as Jack was saying, and Cap, Captain Dave, Captain Justin were saying, it's the community's everything here. I mean, we sh- we all help each other out. Don't think I don't peruse through the posts and see what's going on too, because the, there's strength in numbers, right? We cover a lot of ground with this fleet, and that's what it's all about. It's about going from point A to point B, and all the way to Z, the most efficiently that you can. You know, get out there, get what you want, and come home. Yeah, like John Stanley said, it's really cool to come across another member when you're out there fishing. You yeah. see him with the flag flying. And, gang, if you don't know what Jack was talking about, about the flag, we have these Your Saltwater Guide flags. I think I got a picture of them somewhere. But what it does is it allows everyone to identify that you're a member. Now, it's going to hurt a lot of the sport boat guys' feelings because they're like, oh, my God, <laughs> another member of Dave's website. Because they all think I'm a failure, you know, because I don't drive a sport boat anymore. But that could be the furthest thing from the truth. But you could have one of these flags right here flying off the back of your boat, gang. And then that allows Jack or Tim or Justin or Pablo to know that you're approachable. Because what we teach here is something totally different. I'm just being honest. I helped build the sewer back in the 70s because that's just the way it was. And if you came near us, we would throw stuff at you and yell and scream. We've changed this. We made a kinder, softer, gentler fishing world where you share. And when you see that flag and you're a member and you see that flag, you're like, oh, it's friend. It's not foe. I can approach them. I can go talk to them. It's the coolest thing in the world because this fishing thing needs to be a tight community because Jack, as you know, you fly all over the world, man. We are under attack. They want to take away fishing in California more than anything. Yeah, no, it's true. We we have to really stay together. And I think that's what the community does a good job of is just staying tight knit, right? And, you know, building, building knowledge off of that. Right. Like I said, I think I said on your last show, it's like knowledge is power and especially in the fishing world. Um, and I was just thinking too, there's also a lot of like, um, there's also some industry professionals that are also on members as well. Right. You know, on top of, oh, yeah. I think there's some other like brands that are on the website interacting with members too. So that's, that's super beneficial because you also get informed about like products, right? And what products are especially are being used by Justin or Pablo or Dave that you guys kind of use on a day-to-day basis and you kind of vet those products as well. So that's super helpful. Um, you know, yeah. And what's, what's great also what you just mentioned, Jack is, um, us being involved with people like Promar, Deckhand Sports mm-hmm. and all the other sponsors that we have, AFCO and so on and so on is we get to actually test stuff on the water for them in real life situations out yeah. here to make sure it is working to standards that we agree on and also that they want to agree on as well because it's their product, obviously. Mm -hmm. Um, But I I personally will only use stuff that works for me. Mm -hmm. Um, But that's that's just because there are a lot of people and it's very unfortunate, but a lot of people get sucked into buying stuff that they're never going to use or stuff that doesn't work. And it's really sad. Um, and they get all this tackle stuff. And all of a sudden, if you look at one side of my garage, I've had stuff for like 30 years. One side of my garage is full of stuff that I will never use. I just have no use for it because I know it doesn't work. And we all have that. And we all get sucked into that sometimes. And yeah. being, watching the shows and then being a member of your salt water guide, you get in on what's working and what to buy. So don't over don't overly spend money on stuff that's not going to work. Only spend money on stuff that will work. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you get to see it. You get to see it when you see the picture Jack shows of the fish he caught, and then you can interact with Jack on the community, and you can ask him. Same with Kim and Dan. Same with Devin. Same with Martin. Same with Tim Ogilvy, Darren, all Don Stan. All of our members are sharing exactly what they're doing too. There's no more of this. Hiding it. Oh, I don't want anybody to know that I caught this fish on this 
No, there's no more of that going on on our community. I know there is on other places. I know that. And if you want to get involved in those places with all that negative and sewage, then this is definitely not the place for you because Mm -hmm. we don't allow sewage. We don't allow negative. We just we're all working to try to keep fishing open. And I believe that if there's more people that are having success like Jack and seeing that there are people out there that are actually willing to help. And I remember you when you first called me the first time. The thing that touched my heart the most, Jack, because of who you are and where you've been and all the things, is that you were blown away that I answered the phone. I mean, I'll never forget that. Yeah. It was like, wow. And I'm like, yeah, well, that's how I run my business. You're like, well, that's the key right there. That's the key, Dave. No one else is answering the phone when I call. I was like, well, I'm going to keep doing it, Jack. Yeah, no, that's... Like, yeah, having someone to pick up the phone and just talk through a situation about, you know, especially when you're out there. I think there was like a time where I was like looking for something and I was like, this is, you tell me kind of where to go, right? So I think having that, you know, it's just, a, it's really like a cheat code in a way, but it's like, you know, why not, you know, uh, especially if you're going to catch fish, so. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's the thing that just yeah. blows people's mind as they're watching right now. They're just like, there's no way these guys are doing this. Gang, we're giving you the rockfish spots. Those are gold. People are, you go ask anybody who's got a bag of rockfish. Hey, where'd you catch those? They're going to go to the ocean. That's about as much information as you're going to get. <laughs> you look through our, we got a plethora of things. And the flags, Ronald, yes, the flags are for members only. That way we distinguish because we don't want you putting up a flag if you're not a member because you won't know how to act when the other boat pulls up to you. We teach you how to pull up on each other on the website. We teach you don't approach another boat from the back of their boat. You always approach from the bow. We we explain to you each and everything so that you're not screwing up someone else. You can pull up to another boat bow to bow and never affect their fishing. But if you come driving up their stern, ugh. Well, even if you got five of my flags flying and you drive up my stern, you're going to get So, so that that is one of the on the water rules right there. Excellent. Last year, we had a wide open tuna bite, and one of the gentlemen that was supposed to be on the show today that couldn't make it, uh, he was driving around trying to find the tuna, and I was hooked up, and I told him drive right behind my boat right here. Just troll right behind my boat. They're all right there. So he did it and he hooked up instantly. But that's a rare, rare occasion. Yeah. You know, that was, that was acceptable at that time. <laughs> and you were working together. Yeah. yeah. That's different than me being on the anchor, catching white sea bass, and you come flying up at 20 <laughs> knots to say hi to <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, I'm just kidding. I didn't do that. <laughs> yeah. I've seen it more than once, gang. It's pretty... And then all my buddies on the boat are like, that's your friend? Oh, yeah, that's one of my friends. (laughs) Yeah. One thing, too, that I was going to add, too, is the the, there's obviously other websites out there. We all know about it, right? But I think the level of detail on the community page, right? And I think there's so many details or elements when it comes to catching fish, as we all know, right? Um, But, like, a lot, there's other websites that'll just kind of tell you, okay, well, it was in this area, but it's like, well, like what was going on? What was the bait they were feeding on? Right. Like, you know, what was the size of the, the mass of fish? Right. Like what, what is the weight? Like, what are we talking about? Right. Like, and I think that's where you can, those details are super critical. Right. Because like, it's like, okay, we know they're in this area, but like, well, are they feeding on super small bait? Right. Are they feeding on large bait? Right. Like those are details that like, I only found on the community page, right. That make all the difference um, when it comes to a successful day and coming back with, you know, fish. So. Yeah. Well, thank you, Jack. And I want you to hang out with us for a little bit, but Pablo and Justin wanted to come on the show today. I know they were here yesterday, but they've come up with an idea for you guys. And you guys need to set back and listen to this. This is a big deal. This is only because they feel obligated to all of you to throw out. We had a little meeting before the show to throw out a smoking hot deal for all of you that have supported us through the winter time and watched the show every day and and 
commented and been part of the community and been making sure that everything runs smoothly. And we appreciate all of you. Justin appreciates you, Pablo and Sonny and uh, Al. Everyone appreciates you guys. But these guys put together a little discount package to go open party fishing with both of them. So we'll start with uh, Justin. You tell them what you got going on. And gang, this is only going to be available till May 1st. And then you're going back. I don't know if you're watching what's going on in the world today, but there's a pretty good chance the price of everything's going up here real fast. I don't know if you're watching what's going on, but it's kind of sketchy. So think about what he's about to tell you. Yeah. So fuel, fuel's already going up as well. If you haven't noticed over 60 cents a gallon, which is kind of crazy, but <clears throat> all right. So here's the deal. Um, I'm going to put together and if Pablo wants to do it as well, um, you have until the end of this month to um, get this deal. Open party trips is going to be 150 per person for a half day um, charter. We need four to go. Uh, no Tanner Bank has <laughs> debits. <laughs> no Tanner Bank. Uh, what, $150 per person. We need four to go for half day trips. For a three quarter day trip, for myself, a three quarter day trip, we're going to be running to Catalina. And the fish are just starting to bite at Catalina right now, as of this morning. Um, $250 per person for a Catalina trip. We'll leave at 6 o'clock in the morning. We'll be returning at 4 p.m. So you only have until the end of this month to purchase those. And you can use it between now and the end of the year. So 150 half day, 250 three quarter day. We need a minimum of four to go. But listen, gang, what he's trying to tell you is you buy that ticket and Justin's going to be able to go, okay, Tut bought a ticket, <clears throat> Devin bought a ticket, and Dan and Kim each bought a ticket. So we're going to throw that trip together. You only have to buy one, gang. You only have to buy one and you're going to get invited on all these different open party trips. I don't know if you watched what happened during the rock cut, I mean, during the lobster season, but. He was booked every single day and he didn't have any room and he'd throw one guy in every once in a while. Well, that's your op. This is your opportunity to get in on that. And you're going to go, <coughs> believe me, in July, <coughs> the whole world's happening and, and Justin's going to be going, yeah, it's 500 bucks because fuel's now $14 a gallon. I don't know if you're watching what's going on. It went up 68 cents in a day. So, <coughs> yeah, so you only have until the end of this month to um, get that deal. And like I said, do you have until the end of the year to use it, whether you want a half day or a three quarter day trip? That is also going to include all your tackle. Only thing that you'll have to bring is whatever you want to eat and drink. There'll be water on the boat, on my boat for you. Um, and I'll also provide the bait and the tackle. So all you have to do is bring yourself, your fishing license, whatever you want to eat and drink. That's it. And money. And how do they get a hold of you? Do they text you, call you? What? What is this? <clears throat> Um, so you can find me on one of the hub sites. <laughs> yeah. Text me at uh, 951-703-9442. Oh, and, and also on Thursday, I have three spots open. I have three spots open for a half day on Thursday, this coming Thursday. And the, the oh, weather looks insane. Yeah, the weather looks great. What we'll be doing on this coming Thursday is we'll be going out for halibut for about an hour. And then we'll go off for rockfish, and then we'll come back and go for a halibut again. So nice. That sounds like a fun, fun half day. You're gonna get to do a lot of different things. Can you take advantage of this, Pablo? What are you gonna do? You gonna do the same thing? What are your plans? What do you got? Yeah. So um, I'll do basically I'll do the same thing as Justin. So we'll do um, half day for. 150 per person and then um we'll do the three-quarter day and we can actually include the coronado islands but everybody will be responsible to pay their own you know mexican license fmm visa um you know all the stuff we need to go there um on their own and i'll do i'll do that one or anywhere three-quarter day for the 250 per person so that that way we'll keep it consistent and um yeah that's that's what i'm willing to do so basically we'll do the same thing and we have a few options um as far as destinations and all that 
obviously I can't go to Catalina because that's that's Justin's neighborhood and that's <laughs> I have to cross several fences to get there. So that's that's a really long haul for me to, to do that kind of deal. Um, I do do Catalina trips, but um, I can't do those for that. So yeah, so 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 250 will run out. We can hit the rock pile. We can hit the Coronados again. Be responsible for your own Mexican uh, permits and FMM visa and all that. And then um, 150, we can do open party half day, and we'll hit anywhere around South Nine, anywhere from you know local banks to um, La Jolla, Point Loma, you know both harbors. Do do a really solid trip for everybody. Sounds good. And then yep. tell them how to get a hold of you because there's people in their cars right now that want to go fish. And then yeah, now, listen, Pablo's down in Mission Bay. Justin's up in Long Beach. So you're gonna you got two different areas you can cover. You want to go yeah. with Pablo? You're down in San Diego, Mission Bay. Justin's up in Long Beach, L.A. area. Yeah. So to get a hold of me for these deals, and again, like Justin said, we're gonna run them till basically May first. And um, we'll be able to run them, you know, through the through the end of the year, whenever whenever you want to schedule them, and whenever we can schedule in that open party. Um, but to get a hold of me, call 619-431-3070. Sweet, that's good. Grab that number. Go one more time. Both of you, Pablo, awesome. give them your number, and then Justin, and then I'm going to talk some more. I know All I right. don't have hardly any words. <laughs> Uh, Paul, okay, so Pablo Fernandez Charters, 619-431-3070. Justin, one more time. My phone number is 951-703-9442. And really quick, John John Stanley knows not San Clemente Island. San, San Clemente Island would be a full day for both of us. Yeah. Thousands of dollars worth of fuel to yeah. go out and feed sea lions. And really quick, sorry, I know Dave wants to talk really bad, but I'm going to keep interrupting him so he doesn't talk right now. Like Pablo did. <laughs> I wanted to introduce everybody to a brand new product you haven't even heard of yet from Promar. I have been using this to catch those thresher sharks, bluefin tuna, and all the whole kit and caboodle. Wind on leader. So this is actually one of the ones I've been demoing right here in my hand. This is what... Ahi GT4 wind on leader and the regular Ahi mono um, wind on leader. The GT4 fluorocarbon, so that, that what Dave has right there, that is your regular fluorocarbon line. This is your wind on leader material. <clears throat> um, the wind on leader GT4 fluorocarbon goes from 30 pound to 300 pound. The Ahi mono um, wind on leader goes 80 pound to 400 pound. And what I've been using on my boat, which I've been um, testing these, this is the 80 pound fluoro. So I've been using 80 pound fluoro and 80 pound mono when I've been going out for sharks or you want to go for bluefin under 150 pounds and stuff like that. When I when I fish bluefin, I use the 150 or 200 pound wind down leader, your preference, whatever you want to do, but that's what I've been using. So it's not available yet. This is new. This is the first time anyone's even about the wind down leader. This is one of the things I've been talking about that I'm going to introduce. Wind down leader from Promar Ahi. It'll be available sometime in May. Nice. Oh, look and, at that. And, uh -oh. and wait, there's more. <laughs> and there's more. <laughs> hey, after this, Pablo, you got to jump in too. <laughs> Jack, you need to jump in also, okay? Jack, jump now in. Watch this, Jack. Watch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, how'd that work out for you? <laughs> Just kind of, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. Right, Cap. We're listening. So, so really quick, one oh, more wait, quick thing. Hold on. Hold on when? one second. I okay. just want to say something. Okay. I don't have anything to say. Oh, okay. <laughs> Cubby. <laughs> Gubby, hey Gubby, how are you? So when you purchase the when you purchase the wind down leader or you purchase the Ahi GT4 um, fluorocarbon, well that's that's a descending device. But when you <laughs> when you purchase the wind down leader or the fluorocarbon, 
on the back, there's gonna be a QR code. If you scan that QR code, I'm gonna be showing you exactly how to put this on your line to fish it, exactly. So it's right there at your fingertips. All you gotta do is scan the QR code. I'm gonna show you a video of how to install this on your rod and reel to be successful. That's all, go ahead. Nice, thank you. Okay, gang, listen, <laughs> listen, listen. It's my turn to talk on my show. That's pretty <laughs> far out. I get to. We talk. love you, Dave. We love you. <laughs> I know, gang. This this the sending device. I saw some people sending in messages saying, "What's the what? What's the regulations? What's really going on?" Like Justin talked about yesterday, the regulations are still working off of 2023. It's a giant mess you don't understand they tried to change the regulations right before they opened up the season gang this thing's a giant mess right now they can't write you a ticket for not having the ascending device they can't write you a ticket for having four reds even though they want you to only have two because the regs haven't been written yet we know that they're coming we know that it's coming and it isn't there yet so we don't have anything super secret to tell you except that the regs are exactly what they say in the book for 2023 but they're going to put an amendment to the regulations but as you know this is government so it's hard to get anything done i mean if it was me and jack we just put a put an amendment on there to be done and you'd only have two but <laughs> right now you can have four but that descending device is going to be the law it is there's no way around it is it going to be the law this year? I don't know. Are they going to get the amendment in? I don't know. But you know what? It doesn't matter because we should be proactive and we should be ready to descend those fish. The worst thing in the world is to pull up next to a boat and see 20 fish floating around the boat. That's a total waste of the resource. Plus, it's just a bad look for the industry while we're trying to tell the fish and wildlife and the government that we are the best protectors of our of our uh domain but then here we are standing there with a bunch of fish floating around so regardless of if it's a law or not today please have a descending device on your boat and please use it and there's no better like jack said this descending device even a child could figure out how to use it dave hansen can figure out how to use it so have that on there i'm going to show you this descending device one more time that i was showing you when justin was talking and it's available at Promar, gang. And they're $13.99. And then if you use our code, you're going to save $1.30 or $1.40 on it. It's going to bring the price down to about $11.50 or something. That's an amazing, for two of them, that's almost free, gang. I mean, it's going to cost Steve and Ben more to ship it to you than they're going to make off the product. But they want to be proactive, too. And they don't want you guys having fish floating all around your boat. So there is... There's the product again. There's the QR code. And if you don't get them today, you're probably going to be back ordered. You're not going to be able to get them. They're going to sell out of these things for $13.99 a piece. They're going to sell out of them. Those of you driving in your car, the code's YSWG and the number's 22. What I want you all to understand is what's about to happen. Fishing is about to break wide open because of the fact that the weather has changed. And we're done with that south wind. And now you're going to have a lot of people the next week or so out on their private boats. Plus, all the sport boats are out rockfish fishing. We're going to have good coverage. We're going to stumble into bluefin. They're going to stumble into sea bass. Getting, we already know the halibut are biting at the Channel Islands. They just haven't been able to fish up there because the weather's been so crappy. So there's no reason in the world why you shouldn't get ready for just the most incredible beginning of a 2024 is going to go down gang as one of those years like i talk about 83 el nino of 83 that's what's going to happen what you guys saw this hoop netting thing with justin and pablo both had phenomenal years that's historic we've never seen anything like that in the harbors that is just mind-boggling next year everyone's going to be super disappointed but that's what's going to happen this year with all the craziness going on in the world the one thing I can promise you is the fishing is going to be crazier than all the other stuff combined. It's going to be insane. So please make sure that you're ready for this. Understand, hold on to your money. 
Make sure you pick the right dates. Make sure you're on some informational based website so that you're not going out there, like Jack said, trying to figure this thing out on your own. Doesn't have to be our website. Go on whatever website you want. If you want to go on the best, come on ours. But if you want to just try some of the other ones out, try it out. One thing, I'm going to put Jack on the spot here. You can go to instagram page or his facebook page and message him through there we're not giving you jack's phone number but if you want to find out if this is legit find out if jack works for me give him a give him a dm or a instant message over there on he'll tell you how to get a hold of him and find out if it's real <clears throat> what was that yeah. how heavy was that oh was it like 44 45 pounds jack um, it was a 42 incher. Um, there was some guy at the dock telling me that it was like 26 pounds, but I don't know if it was 26 pounds. I, I don't know, but it's like it 42 I, inches. It would be just over 40, 40 pounds in between 40 and 45, but it looked like it was really fat. So I yeah, think I know it was like before 45. Yeah. I mean, it definitely felt like it was more than 26 <laughs> pounds. Um, <laughs> be a lot bigger than 20 pounds. Yeah. yeah. So maybe he wished he was out there catching that. He was that. jealous. So it's small, you know. He was jealous. Yeah. He's like, oh, I caught my buddy caught a big one. Um, but it's like <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, should ask him to show you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like, where's the photo? I don't I don't know where it is. Yeah, that's the biggest 20 pound halibut I've ever seen. Yeah, that's that's what they call like a good like what do they call it? Like a baker's dozen or whatever. That's a good 20. Yeah. <laughs> I, I thought it was like 11 pounds at first. <laughs> and if you think Jack's holding it out, look at his arms there. Look, those arms aren't bent, gang. They're right up against his body. That's the real deal. That's the biggest damn 20-pound halibut I've ever seen. Yeah. I, I would put money on it. It was in between 43 and 45. Okay. That's good. Yeah. Well, if I ever see that guy at the dock again, I can just I – can, I can let him know the, the yeah. actual weight. Yeah. yeah. Tell him to call Justin. Yeah, I'll tell him to call Justin. I'm like, we have this guy who can verify that you're way yeah. off. I'll tell him, did you see the picture of how he held it all out? It was actually 12 yeah. inches and he kept it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Hey, Captain Dave, I got a question for you. Go ahead, Pablo. We won't actually, let it's more, Jack it's more eventually of a let you give your... It's, it's more of a statement. Uh, Tim Ogilvy booked a three-quarter day with me. No way. Yeah, open party three quarter day. Oh, you got to be kidding me! Tim's a great human being. Yeah, so I'm really stoked on that because now I know I'm gonna have a great day. <laughs> pretty, pretty stoked on that. Tim's a super cool dude. He's one of our very well known members. You guys ever hit him up? He always wants to fish out here. And then one thing for Justin, a lot of people. This is kind of a serious topic. A lot of people have been asking about the coffee and how do we get more of it? Because I have a lot of people that they got their first ones for free and now, you know, all hours of the day they're hitting me up and it's getting annoying. So how do I get them that coffee? So if they go to one of the locations <laughs> called the Pokey Co and Wings, the Pokey Co and Wings, you can get the coffee there. Okay. All right. That's all I got. <laughs> Yeah, great. Jack, how do they find you if they want to get, <laughs> find out if you're real? Um, you could go to my Instagram. So it's Bouchelle. Yeah, my name's up here. So Bouchelle underscore Jack, um, all lowercase. Look me up, message me, and I'll I'll tell you that this this is real. It's not a this is not just a facade we're putting on. This is this is legit. And you know, I didn't Photoshop these fish photos. Um, I could if I wanted to, but I didn't need it. So, <laughs> yeah, you could. Yeah, you could. And, um, gang, if you're afraid to call me, call Justin or Pablo. I understand I'm kind of scary. You want a free look at this phenomenal website, gang? I have no problem giving you a free look. I own it to the center of the earth. It's mine. I'll never charge you. If you do accidentally get a charge, I, promise and you can ask anybody i reimburse your money immediately i'm not here to to try to make make a living off of your subscription now if you were smart and you got in when jack did it was 4.99 a month and then last year we raised it to 9.99 a month and then i don't know if you've seen what's going on now but now it's 29.99 a month gang you just wait 
just wait a little bit if you want. I promise it'll go up some more. I promise. I've seen me do it over and over again. But now we have a proven concept. When I first launched it for four ninety nine a month, no one had ever done it before. So when people say why, I used to hear the industry. Oh, look at you, the the four ninety nine guy. Ah, his information's only worth four ninety nine. Well, now we have a proof of concept with over four thousand members, gang, and my. My info is a little bit better than four ninety nine, so so uh, that's why we're we're up there. And all the people that have signed up this year because we raised the price this year and now we're into April. No one that's paying twenty nine ninety nine a month has canceled. They're they're just keep logging on, gang, because it's real. Every bit of information you get here is real. If you're tired of catching nothing. And you want to know, or if you're out there and you just want to be part of the group, here we are. We all want you to be a member. Everybody that you see on the show every day, they want you to be a member. They're going to give you your phone number. You get on Instagram, talk to Jack. And if you're not a booger eater, it's a pretty good chance he's going to give you his phone number and you're going to get to talk to him. Right? Yeah. So there's a... As long as you're not asking, where did I catch this fish? And tell me where. (laughs) Then, then I'll then I'll give you my phone number. So, <laughs> there's another thing I've been wanting to tell everyone. Also, maybe I already said it. I don't know. So, um, there there's other websites that you can be memberships of, right? And they're, they're pretty expensive. Um, one of them, I'm not going to say what website it is. You all can figure it out yourself. Uh, one of them charges a phenomenal amount of money, but if you extend the price even more of hundred and something dollars a month, you can then talk to him on the phone. I mean, you can twenty nine dollars. You can you don't even have to pay anything. Just call Dave. You'll answer the phone. It's that easy. <laughs> but on that website, you know, um, they only post for four months out of the year, and that's it. But you still got to pay for the rest of the year. There's another website that if you know how to use terrafin charts, you know how to use C. Uh, surface temperatures and you know how to use all this other stuff that we use while we're looking for fish then be a member of it make sure you're you're a member of it because that's what you're really gonna learn as far as i don't want to talk bad about it but i'm just gonna say how it is as far as reports don't trust the reports trust me do not trust the reports on there because they're not actually accurate they're either one week to a month off and you're not going to be on the fish. You're going to be on someone that made a report that hopefully it's true. Okay. If you know, um, no, it's not Dan Hernandez. I didn't even know he has a website that you could purchase. But um, I won't say who it is. But I think I know this website. And I, you're I found some more. If you're a some member, more. you're a guide. You are, you are going to be in the loop of everything that's going on. And Dave, Pablo... Al, um, Sonny, if we can ever get a hold of him. Uh, we read all that stuff. We know how to read charts very, very well and currents and so on. And we pass that on to you and where the fish would be. And I think Jack can vouch for this. La- I think last year you talked to me, Jack, of where I think yeah. the fish would be sent you right to them or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right there. <laughs> so, so it's that easy. You don't have to know how to read all these charts or go to college to learn how to read all these charts because it takes a lot of reading to figure out how to actually read these charts, not just, okay, yeah, I see some colors and how do I follow them? So you have to learn circles and so on and so on. So just saying. Yeah. No, hey, I, gang, I got a uh, question though, real quick. I'm sorry, Mike Lewis, I'm on your team. Those of you that are watching this, this Facebook ad thing that they started going with here now, it's been going for a month. And they're basically really, it's not beneficial to me. I need to know if you guys are, if this ad thing, Kelly said it comes up like every 10 seconds on here. Leave comments, gang. Tell me if you're tired, I'm going to turn this thing off because now my really good friend, Mike Lewis is pissed because he missed part of the, these videos I'm not getting paid for. So if you're not seeing them, Maybe there's a way to not see him. John Stanley says he never sees him. So I don't know, Mike. I have a I have I have us live right here and I haven't seen one yet, but I will tell you there is ads 
And remember when it all started, Dave, this was just a month ago or a couple of months ago, we thought we were going to be able to um, help pay for Starlink and stuff with it. And it, $2 on the live videos where we got 20,000 or 40,000 views, we got $3 for the ads. Well, what the heck? How's that going to pay for Starlink? Yeah, well, we've yeah. had we've had right around two and a half million views this month alone on the on the podcast and and just to be honest i'll be honest with you the 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 ad revenue is 68 dollars for a month so it's i don't know i can't even go to mcdonald's for 68 bucks <laughs> you can't even buy a big mac meal at mcdonald's now for the price of a your salt water guide membership for a month <laughs> All right. Well, some people aren't even seeing them, so I'm not seeing them. It's all good. Yeah. Renee says they come on all the time, and they come on in the middle of the critical info. Yeah. Maybe all ask right. Ellie to get them off there. Oh, I can get them off. All I got to do is flip the switch. They're done. I was just trying to see if we were going to get paid. Yeah. Paid for it. And um, I don't know if I mentioned this yesterday on the show, but uh, oh yeah, I did about Star Starlink is coming on the boat hopefully this week, and uh, we should be going live out on the water for you all to see. And maybe yeah. if I get if I get everyone together on Thursday, I'll go live out there. Alabit's a little boring though, just to let everyone know. You can, <laughs> you can yeah, it's really freaking boring. We're gonna be drifting yeah, and watching nothing until we catch something hopefully yeah but justin a lot of people are just sitting at their houses and they you're out on the water they're seeing stuff that you and pablo and jack and i take for granted most people never see they don't see the cool seagulls they don't see the sea lion they don't see the whales dolphins all the other stuff that you're going to take for granted. that camera's going full speed out there filming you have no idea what kind of cool stuff you're about to see and that's what's the bitching part about being live there's so much we've we want to go watch someone catch a fish. We can go watch that YouTube video all day long. I mean, that's not what this is about. Just like the lobster thing. We didn't lose anybody on those nights where you caught five lobster. Yeah, so true. Everybody stayed. We're going to watch you fish in halibut. We're all going to watch because we want to see if you get a hookup. All right. All I mean, right. I'll go live for halibut. <laughs> If we want the edited version, we'll send Jack out there with you. And we'll get it all sweet and pretty and with like <laughs> music and all that garbage that none of us really – we'll get some of that woke music on there. And we'll, we'll woke it all up, and it'll be all cool. We can send it to Disney and all that fun stuff. But people watch us. You know why? Because we're raw. And yeah. Captain Dave's like a NASCAR race. You're just waiting for that wreck in turn four. You just know it's coming. <laughs> Waiting. Yeah, it'll be it'll be a lot of fun. Can't wait. So, gang, make sure you get those descending devices. Where we've gone way over the hour, Jack. Thanks for hanging out with us the whole time. It was a pleasure. Give everybody your Instagram page one more time because people want to know. It's Bouchel underscore Jack on Instagram. So, if you have any questions, reach out to me. Or even if you're a member and you're like, oh. You just want to say hi feel free to message me yeah and jack and his buddies go fishing all the time so you'll see him out there on the water everybody if you need a flag call justin or pablo i think we still have a few flags left no I we think, don't we have no flags I, I, have, I have them all right now pablo has them all down in san diego that was nice of him to take them right justin from the yeah. show oh, nice. there, there there you with your stuff <laughs> <laughs> I was supposed to, I was supposed to send one out to a gentleman and I thought I had some. Nope. So I'm gonna need Pablo. I'll I'll text you Pablo on who to send one to. Yeah, for sure. Well, so. here's what you guys need to do. Al's out there doing some research today on his boat. So you guys need to go down there and go fishing with Al. Call him up when we're done. He's going tomorrow again. He sent me some video this morning of him and his grandkids fishing that bone fish this morning. It looked pretty bitching. That's cool. That's hey, really Captain cool. Dave, how much are the, the flags? And then so if you could tell people and then I can ship them out or whatever. 
twenty nine ninety five is what they cost me. I'm not charge. I'm not making any money on them. I just want you all to be represented. They cost me twenty nine ninety five. John Stanley's the guy that got them for us at the flag store down there in San Diego. And if we need to, John, we'll make another run. We'll do another run. So I don't know how many Pablo has, but we'll get them. John has some also. He says. John Stanley has still has some. Yeah, he says I still have some. Okay, there you go, gang. So get a hold of John Stanley or Pablo. So a couple things really quick to recap for those everyone that just joined or didn't hear about the whole exciting news. Promar Ahi has come out with a descending device. Super easy to use. One side, that right there. You're gonna the way you're gonna hook it onto your line. This is gonna be a permanent thing. Well, it's not permanent, but you're gonna be using it while you're fishing as well. So the side on the top left corner you're going to hook that to your main line and then the bottom with the um, swivel that you can detach you hook that to your squid squirt or you can put that at the very bottom of the squid squirt and attach it that way and then put your weight at the bottom of that you're going to leave it on your line so it's it's an easy 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 to use descending device once you catch a small fish or a fish that you're not going to keep, you just put that fish on there, re squid strip your uh, squid squirts, send it back down there. That fish will come off and then you'll catch other fish. So you don't have to drop that down there, reel it back up, grab another fish and pull, then bait it up, then drop that back down. <clears throat> super, super easy device. It's only $13.99. You're not going to just get one, you're going to get two. And the reason why they're doing two is because you could lose one and coming up very soon it is going to be mandatory you have this readily available on your boat to descend a fish so why not just have it on your line ready to go right when you pull it up that way fish and game don't have to harass you and give you that 389 dollars ticket that they just made a section code for um 13 dollars 99 cents use that promo code right there um you're going to get two devices and Using that promo code or code YSWG22, you're going to save yourself on that. So make sure you get them. Get them quick because they're going to sell out by the end of the day today. I promise they're going to sell out. Then you're going to have that. Could be the next Mad Max shortage. So yeah. You know, what, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy them all up and sell them for $25. That's what you should do. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great idea. Maybe I'll do that. <laughs> Down at the docks. <laughs> yeah. Promar would be like, you're out of here. <laughs> I I think Promar would like to sell them all. I don't think they care who buys them. You want to buy them all, buy them. Yeah. No, I mean, I'll buy them all and I'll sell them for 25 bucks a piece. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> don't do that. Um, everyone that's watching it, you're going to get a discount. Use code YSWG22. Get that discount. As you've seen earlier in the show, they commented on here, Promar did. Um, they're going to be shipping them out as soon as you put it in. So if you put it in today, you're going to get it by Friday. So make sure there you put it in. Grab that code and get it done. Yeah. Get it all done. Get it done. Justin, Pablo, <clears throat> book up some trips, gang. Get with the boys if you want to go. They're only got a week and a half left of this phenomenal discounted price. And how cool would that be to get a discounted price right now and then use it in the middle of the season when they have an opening? You're like, yeah, I got that discount ticket. Let me on the boat, Justin. I want to get me a big whopper bluefin when they're biting on the horseshoe. Yep. Because yep. there's going to be some unbelievable fishing, gang. So don't get caught with your pants down. And keep an eye on Jack because he's going to be catching lots of big whopper fish, gang, because he's a member of the website like all the other members. Gang, thank you very much for being with us today. Jack, thank you so much for your time. Pablo, Justin, always let me know if people call you. And tomorrow, gang, back with Bill Varney. And you know we're going to be talking about what I did with Al. When Al and I got the ghost shrimp, Bill Varney and I will be talking all about surf fishing. I guess it's really good. I watched a couple of our members just had time of their life here this week surf fishing matt had a phenomenal time surf fishing and so did jason so we got a lot to talk about with bill varney tomorrow it'll be a fun show tomorrow's uh akuma wednesday 
and we'll have some Akuma products to talk about. And everybody, thank you. And Renee, I would love to have you on the show next week if you'd like to be a part of. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day. See you later. Bye.